Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I work for Best Incorporated. I'm a Master Instructor in Rework and Repair and 610, which deals with process control, 620, wires, cables, and harnesses, and J standard process control. And what I want to show you here today is in the previous one, we showed you how to remove a charging port without causing any damage. Well, I'm going to show you how to use solder wick, which is the braid material you see on the screen, a blade tip, and a little bit of flux to clean that out. Okay. Now what you want to try and do though is one of the things is once you've got that charging port off, it's still nice and hot, you might want to go in back right away because the ground planes and everything, it does take a little bit of time to get the solder out of it. So while it's still hot though, it's a lot easier to do. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean up. First thing to do is to apply a little bit of flux. And I'm using a liquid flux instead of a paste flux, but if you want to use that or a flux pin, that is acceptable too. I'm using a Rosin Alpha 800, really nice to do. I'm using a Metcal blade tip to clean these pad sites off. Next thing I'm doing is I'm cleaning my tip off into the center of the hole, getting everything off of it. Next thing I want to do is to come down here, lay it across that, reflow it, This has a bevel side, so you always want the bevel side down, and you bring them off at the same time. I'm going to turn it sideways like this, so I can get an easier access, so I don't hit anything. Let it reflow. Look at that. Got that side done. Now I'm going to turn it around to this other side and get that one done also. So far, I've not caused any damage whatsoever. I want to clip off that little piece right here of silver. Might reapply a little bit of flux to my solder wick, just like that. Come down here, hold it right up against it. Got one done. Got two done. Now I've got them all cleaned out. Now I'm ready to uh, install that part as soon as I do one other thing and that is to clean the area because you've got that contamination and everything there and you don't want that okay so I got an acid brush and a little alcohol on it and I'm gonna come down here and be gentle and clean up my area of all that flux residue that I left behind and I got my towel my Kim wipe here to clean it up nice and pretty that way there's no contamination I'll even go on the back side do the same thing there too and wipe it down. There we go. Now we've got the holes cleaned out and we're ready to install that part. And these are through hole so yeah I can see where some people have a little bit of problem here getting the solder out of these guys but with the tape that I do utilize it comes out very easy as you can see and again I didn't lift any pads I didn't cause any damage whatsoever and that's what you want to do successfully. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a nice day.